We're now going to go through a behind the back speed stop breakdown. With this behind the back speed stop, it's a great way to help you stop on the dime, especially when a defender is on your hip. So whether you're playing off a full court situation and you're driving, trying to get by your defender and you have to come off a quick stop, or maybe you're attacking downhill and you're trying to get to the rim where you've got to come off a quick behind the back speed stop, this move is a great foundation for the full work that you're going to need in the games. So let's start here. What I want you to do is we're going to go fully on the right side, then we're going to go fully on the left side. For the right side, I want you to start off a split stance where your right foot is forward and your left foot is back. This athletic split stance is a great way to help you explode into every move that you're doing. Now let's get back to the split stance here, right foot forward, left foot back. What I want to do right now is simply work on the dribble timing. So what we're going to do from this position is you're just going to get the ball and your foot to hit at the same exact time, just like this. Okay, we're going to get reps just like that. One, two, and you're constantly just going to rep getting that perfect dribble timing. Don't get that dribble and then that step. Make sure that ball and foot are hitting at the same exact time from playing off this speed stop. Once you get your reps where you're working on that dribble timing, you're now going to push off this back foot and you're going to take an additional step and just stop. So notice here, ball and foot same time. I'm just going to stop where my second foot is going to help me square myself up. So ball and foot same time, square up. That's all we're doing here. Very simple ball and foot same time, pick up the ball. Take a look at my feet. Notice how on my feet, my feet are not coming off the ground. The ball and foot are hitting at the same time. That second foot is sharp and I'm just stopping. These reps are the foundation of what you're going to be doing with that behind the back speed stop. Once you get your reps there, let's incorporate that behind the back. Notice here how in our last drill, the big point of emphasis was your feet were on the ground. Ball and foot same time, your foot stayed on the ground. As we get through this behind the back now, your feet need to stay on the ground. Ball and foot same time, and now it's just a behind the back, we'll pick up the ball and do it again. Same series as the last one, but now you're just incorporating that behind the back. Notice here how we're just slowly layering on that footwork. Don't skip any steps where you immediately go here because I want to make sure you really have that nice foundation. Have a nice sharp step, keep your feet on the ground. You're constantly just getting reps here. Keep on going on that right side until you really feel like you've got that foundation down. Let's get it a little bit more dynamic. Let's play off a simple dribble move off of between the legs. So everything has been very stationary into that speed stop. Now let's add a one dribble between the legs where we get into that same exact speed stop. I'm going to pound the ball with my left hand, change direction to my between the legs, notice my split stance, and then we're going to get into that same exact speed stop. Doesn't have to just be a between the legs. Maybe you want to incorporate a crossover. That's fine. Crossover, one dribble, speed stop. Right, if you need to catch up your feet, maybe it's a little different for you, that's fine. Really challenge yourself, different dribble moves into that speed stop. Get really creative and get super comfortable going towards that right hand side. Now once you complete all of that on the right hand side, let's do the same exact thing on the left hand side. First thing is we're going to play off that split stance, but now we're going to be left foot forward, right foot back. First thing we're going to do, dribble time. Ball and foot same time every time. Athletic stance off that speed stop. We're going to be in an athletic stance right off that split stance. Taking that step with our right foot. Getting that ball and foot to hit at the same exact time. Once you get your reps there, we're then going to push that ball out and pick it up. Remember, you're going to square up. You're not hopping into this stop. Your feet are on the ground. That's why we get that dribble timing. That's why we're working on this foundation of coming off that sharp step. You want to keep your feet 
on the ground, right? If a defender is guarding you and you hop into a speed stop, you're not only losing space, but that could lead to a turnover because look at all that distance you're covering. You're going to be in a bad spot. You want to be able to keep your feet on the ground, be in full control as you're going through those speed stops. All right, let's get two more reps here. Let's incorporate that behind the back. Now let's get dynamic into a dribble move. If you could always just get to that drop, whatever you're doing, right? Let's say I'm coming off all these dribble moves. I could get into that drop and then explode out. It'll really help you get into that footwork. And there you have it. You've got a ton of reps that you could do towards the right-hand side. You've got a ton of reps that you could do towards the left-hand side. And now you're able to do that behind the back speed stop going towards the right and the left. Now before we get into the last drill of this behind the back speed stop progression, I want you to realize that you need to make sure that you've got the behind the back speed stop down first before you get to that last drill. That last drill is extremely dynamic where you're working on speed stops going both ways. And I don't want you to build upon a poor foundation if you don't got those simple speed stops down. Now if you find yourself where you don't have those speed stops down yet, continue to do that exact progression we just did. Work on the full right hand side, work on the full left hand side, and then just start going towards the rim. Maybe it's playing off a speed stop here and then going up into a finish. Going through that same exact progression. Work on that dribble timing. Work on the stops. Work on incorporating the behind the back. And then eventually progress that towards the rim where now you can get the behind the back speed stop to a finish. Work on it on the left side, work on it on the right side, work on it in different situations. Get that behind the back speed stop down first. And then you could get up into this next drill that we're going to break down right now. With this last behind the back speed stop drill, we're going to work on our speed stops going both ways. So it's going to be a live dribble situation. You're never going to pick up the ball and you're constantly going to be playing off these exact dribbles. It's going to be one dribble out, speed stop, retreat dribble into your next rep. So it's three simple dribbles. One dribble, speed stop, retreat. One dribble, speed stop, retreat. One dribble, speed stop, retreat. Now look at my footwork as I get into my retreat. I'm hip swiveling into my split stance that we've been working on. So notice here, I'm, let's say I'm playing off my split. I'm starting the drill. I'm one dribble, speed stop. I'm going to retreat dribble. And from this retreat, I hip swivel into my next split stance. Left foot forward, right foot back, into my next one dribble speed stop, hip swivel, right foot forward, left foot back. And now I'm constantly playing from this situation. The ball is staying alive. I'm having perfect speed stops. My feet are down. And I'm constantly working on this footwork over and over again. You could do this for 30 seconds, getting as many reps as you can. Just make sure that your footwork is perfect, right? You're getting perfect speed stops quality hip swivels and you're maintaining your level. A great drill to really get those behind the back speed stops down.